One of the most highly anticipated updates in Last Day on Earth survival was, and still is, Bunker Bravo. When it came out back in 2019, the LDOE community was absolutely thrilled. There were videos from content creators, endless discussions, and players logging in to tackle the new challenge of clearing the bunker. It was a truly exciting time, a peak moment for the LDOE community. This update wasn't just about Bunker Bravo either. It also introduced the long-awaited ATV, which unlocked swamp zones with new resources, recipes, dangerous zombies, and so much more. Kafir put in serious effort back then to bring us one of the most memorable and content-packed updates in LDOE history. Now, imagine if something like that could happen again. Picture the LDOE community buzzing with that same level of excitement for an update as significant as Bunker Bravo, the ATV, and Swamp Zones. But this time, it feels like Kiefer has shifted their focus. Instead of these game-changing updates, recent additions have been more temporary and focused on events and microtransactions, which are fun but lack the lasting impact of those earlier updates. If only Kiefer could bring back that same energy for creating solid, meaningful content instead of focusing solely on monetization. Still, I hold on to hope for something even bigger than Bunker Bravo and the ATV, something that could reignite the excitement of the entire LDOE community. I believe that certain features could genuinely bring back that old hype and pull players back in like never before. Some features are actually more anticipated and talked about than the ATV and Bravo ever were. Think of Bunker Charlie, the helicopter, and Tungsten, the trio of forgotten content that the community has been waiting on for so long. These three additions could bring LDOE back to its prime, making it once again the go-to survival game for players worldwide. So let's dive into what these features could bring to the table, starting with Bunker Charlie. This would be a whole new location, different from anything we've seen before, potentially offering an all new type of gameplay. Imagine Bunker Charlie as a multi-floored challenge with each level presenting unique obstacles and enemies. The first floor could feature the standard traps and zombies, but as players progress, they'd encounter areas with hazards like water that slow them down, exposing them to even tougher enemies. The third floor, completely submerged in water, could require a special suit and oxygen tanks to navigate. Combat underwater would be different, with weapons like a harpoon gun required to tackle the threats. And let's not forget about the boss, an enemy with multiple phases that requires more than just brute force. The boss room could have mechanics, like valves that players can turn to flood or drain areas, giving tactical advantages in the fight. The loot from Bunker Charlie would be legendary. High-tier weapons like SCARs, VSS rifles, and MGLs, top-level armor like Kevlar, and large stacks of precious resources like steel and aluminum. And, of course, tungsten, an essential new material for advanced crafting. Clearing Bunker Charlie would feel rewarding, not just because of the loot, but also for the sense of accomplishment from beating one of LDOE's toughest challenges. Now, on to the helicopter. This vehicle has been long awaited, and it could be even harder to build than the ATV, requiring materials from across all areas of the game. Instead of simply gathering materials in one zone, players would need to gather unique items from resource zones, Bunker Alpha, the Port, the Northern Regions, and much more. Every location can contribute to the assembly of this brand new vehicle. The helicopter would require a new fuel source, kerosene, and provide the ability to instantly travel to any location, carrying an entire chest of loot. But the real game changer is that the helicopter would give access to another forgotten location, the oil rig. The oil rig could introduce a completely different side to LDOE, with PvP zones where players can battle each other for control. Imagine being able to use your main character, weapons, and armor for these battles. The oil rig could also host special events that happen daily, with specific times announced beforehand. Solo players and groups could try to seize control, facing off against other players and high-level AI enemies for valuable rewards. Controlling the oil rig could come with unique advantages. For instance, the winning group could access exclusive workbenches to repair gear, trade items, and even sell equipment for caps. After winning a battle, the oil rig could show the victorious group's name on the map until the next reset. 
this PvP mechanic would introduce a dynamic, challenging area where players could engage in high-risk, high-reward combat with substantial rewards, such as rare crates and premium resources. But how would these features fit into LDOE's current gameplay, and how hard should they be? Bunker Charlie, the helicopter, and Tungsten should be challenging, available mainly for advanced players with significant skill, gear, and resources. Bunker Charlie could be tougher than Bunker Bravo with advanced zombies, environmental hazards, and clever traps like explosive or electric mechanisms. The helicopter should take time and effort to assemble, requiring resources from a wide range of zones and dedicated farming. And let's talk about tungsten, an ore that would open up an entirely new set of crafting recipes for high-level items. Tungsten farming would require serious commitment, but the rewards would make it worth the grind, enabling players to craft powerful new weapons, armor, and tools. These features represent the, the type of meaningful content the community has been waiting for, the kind that would bring back the excitement and unity of LDOE's peak years. Imagine the wave of old players returning, new players joining, and content creators making endless videos about the new strategies, resources, and tactics. But here's the big question. Will these features ever become a reality? From a technical perspective, this is all possible. Many games incorporate similar mechanics, but the concern is whether Kiefer will prioritize such an ambitious update. Over time, it feels like the developers have shifted towards smaller, recycled events, leaving behind the epic updates that kept the game fresh and exciting. Still, I hold out hope that one day, we'll see the return of those big updates that defined LDOE in its earlier days. So, what do you think? Do these features sound like they'd make LDOE the survival game we all know it could be? Let me know your thoughts and ideas in the comments below, and feel free to share your opinions on what you'd like to see in the game. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Only 8% of my viewers are currently subscribed, and every bit of support helps me bring more content like this to you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.